how do you play this game uh, campaign, really? And that's basically what we're doing, learning how to play the game, how things work. This is episode four of the uh, initial tutorial of how the game works, basically. I think that's even what it's called. And uh, yeah, we're working through these things. We're trying to get our GDP a little bit higher. We're trying to make the Catholic Church happy so that we can then pass um church schools to finish this entry as well we're kind of tr trying to figure out how to do that but we do have a gold mine that is going to be finished in two weeks which should hopefully fix the issue you can see here where we're making no money so uh yeah hopefully that'll work and then we're going to build some more logging camps because again we think logging is going to either reduce our costs from you know creating things or we might be able to ex start exporting some uh, some wood or something like that. So uh, we're going to let this kind of tick away. We are losing money. We are in debt now. Um, I can't remember why this went up. I think Oh, it's because we're building these buildings. So that's why it went up. Um, so yeah, that'll be finished soon. That's 5,000 a day uh, building these uh, construction uh, requirements. And I think this has got quite a while to go. Yeah, 17 weeks. But we, we've got quite a lot of this balance left to go before we truly run out of money. So I don't think it's too bad being where we are. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully we can... Um, well, hopefully that gold mine makes us some money that we built. Job creates this due to approval loyal... Oh, 20%. Okay, so it looks like the uh, industrialists here have had some kind of thing happen, which means we're going to have more people getting employed or something. Brazil is improving relations with... Uh, oh, with us. Okay, Brazil is trying to make friends with us, basically, it looks like. And then it looks like fruit has gone up in price, so is meat, and so is wood. So, yeah, the logging thing uh, looks like it is going to make us some money once it's finished. So, pretty happy about that. And uh, like I say, the gold as well. Yeah, that's changed already. I guess whilst the gold mine gets fully um, up to speed, I think it's missing some employment. Oh, it's nearly full, actually, already. We're seventh in the world for uh, gold mines in productivity. I don't think we can improve any of these. I think we can do nitroglycerin, but I think it actually reduces the profitability because explosives are so expensive. Yeah, explosives are crazy expensive. So, um, although we could do this, we need to probably make nitroglycerin ourselves, I guess. I guess that's what it means. Like I say, leave a, like I've said in previous episodes, if I'm reading wrong into this, uh, like I say, first time I've ever played the game or the series. So, to me, this reads that at the moment, we'd lose 3,000 gold a day. Uh, more chance of people dying. We wouldn't mint more money. Uh, gold would be have higher production, plus 20. But explosives would go up in price, I think, because there isn't enough explosives for us to buy. So they're more expensive. Or, you know, it's just more demand, so the price has gone up. Um, that's how I read it. Although it says explosives plus 40 for this one. I don't know whether to try this and see if it makes that much of a difference. Um, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot though if it does um and i think it locks this for a certain amount of times so you can't just change between them constantly uh we'll see we'll see um yeah so yeah not, not too bad tools as well yeah if we get tools to come down in price uh that would help us as well but again i think only basically creating tools or we could lower the tariff i suppose where is i think that's what you can do <laughs> correct me if i'm wrong guys uh, un unproductive. Is this the uh, paper one? Yeah, this is losing us money. So let's... See, it says we're losing us money, but then when we cancel it, it actually... Um, it lo oh, no, no. I think it corrected itself immediately afterwards. So ignore me. Um, import demand. See, yeah, there's a lot of import demand for wood. Although I guess that might also be because we're currently upgrading our logging camp. So I don't know if that closes the logging camp whilst it's being upgraded that might be yes that's why so we're in the in the in the meantime we're having to import stuff i guess whilst they're doing this um yeah interesting i i never thought about that but yeah obviously that's how it works yeah if they're upgrading it you you can't also be using it so um yeah that also makes sense uh imports uh, flotillas and reserve that's all fine oh we've got the, uh, an event Defam a defamatory article a newspaper called the Los Rios Guardian has printed a bigoted article about the Patagonian people living there. We can suppress the article or let it be released. Suppress it, we we'll lose some authority, or ignore it. Minus one standing living uh, for Patagonians in Los Rios. I don't know how many Patagonians we have in Los Rios. Let's have a look. Uh, that's here. I think we can see the population. Yeah. Culture. Oh, there's, um, well... 20% of it is Patagonians. I'm going to say ignore it, though. <laughs> I'm going to say ignore it. 
I don't want to lose any uh, any other stuff. Actually, we have a little bit of authority. We could probably use that on something, I would imagine. Um, is it this one? Decrees? Yeah, maybe we could do a decree down here to help with um, encourage resource. Oil, whaling, mines. Yeah, see, should we do that in Santiago? Yeah, I think we will. Let's give this a go, see what it does. See how much it ch Oh, yeah, that goes like... Um, 500, uh, 500 gold a day. Uh, 500 pounds, I guess. Money. I'm going to keep calling it pounds because it's the pound sign, but um, yeah, it's just money. Uh, oh, there we go. We hit our gross domestic product by doing that as well. Awesome. Nice. There we go. So we actually hit the other uh, learn the game thing. And then, yeah, we just need to carry on working on this Catholic church. Now, this will be fixed when our character, well, our leader, Jose um, Prieto, uh, when he dies... Uh, we'll probably hit that requirement because the problem is, if you want to again for the last episode, he is um, persistent, so interest groups don't like him by one. That's actually modifying the Catholic Church down to zero from one. Um, and I think we'd probably have to wangle another one. We're not doing that. Uh, we're not going to change to a monarchy. Uh, maybe we'll have to, but I, I don't really want to. Yeah, that's all we can do. Like I've said before, I think in the last episode, I think I said, there must be another way for us to improve this. And I'm just not thinking of what it is. Like how we can improve this further. Now the funny thing is, is we could improve it further by enacting the school, but we need the we need it higher to enact the school. So uh, yeah, it's kind of um, what interest groups. We know that bit. Go to any interest group. Okay, let's choose the church next. Ideology uh, interest group leaders can have effects on the to Yes, yeah, see that's the leader is affecting us here. Interest groups have their own interest group traits. Which directly affects across the entire country. Interest group traits activate and deactivate on different approval levels and scale in power. The okay, so yeah, these will activate. Yeah, see, if they were. Um, approval of the church is unhappy or worse. Oh, wait, no. So yeah, they're not worse than that. So that's why that one is activated. And if they're plus 10, you get 2% birth rate. If they're plus 5, you get 10% authority. Yes, yeah, so that's not actually going to help us at all. This is how much clout they have. That's because we're backing them now, which made them like us a little bit more. Uh, they have interest group. They're viewed on this panel. Is this the leader? Yeah, he's the leader, dude. And then, law, yeah, laws. Yeah, which we, we don't want to change. The only one they want us to change is to become a monarchy, which we're, we're not going to do. We're not going to become a monarchy uh, just for that reason. Um, let's, John, let's go back to... What are we importing? I might go back to importing paper. Actually, can we see... Is the... Yeah, the university is running at 41%. Yes, yeah, so this isn't running very effectively because it's run out of paper. And it is employing people, so we kind of do want this to capture... Well, let's import the uh, paper again. I guess, let's do it. Import route, British market's the only one we have available. I mean, maybe we should just go back to importing all these things. Let's see... And then the last one, uh, import, there we go. See, the weird thing is, is turning them on makes us more money. I guess because we do have those tariffs, so I guess it kind of makes sense in a way. And then the unproductive, no, unproductive trade routes, three. See, it says they're not productive. Well, I don't know what it means by it's unproductive. Because don't we need these? I, th I think it's because we need them for our buildings, but they're not outside of enabling those buildings. It's not doing anything else. I think that's what it means. It must do. Because they're actually doing stuff. Because we've, we've got rid of the warnings down here about, um, you know, having um, having uh, missing requirements for those buildings. So unused construction production. <laughs> construction production. We have available construction production that is not being used towards constructing any buildings. We do. We do. Uh, we, we're upgrading those wheat farms. I mean, we could do something else. The thing is, we're not making... I mean, I suppose it's going to make us more money, isn't it? Investing, or as we've seen before, not, not necessarily. Or the AI sometimes... Well, the kind of the game UI 
sometimes makes it look like it won't make us money. Uh, we'll make more logging camps, though. I think logging is going to be the way to go. Well, let's build some more logging camps. And, you know, let's max out the gold mines. I think the gold mines are a good way to go as well. Um, is this cash reserves? They're building up some money. Okay. And they're maxed out already. 0 0.5, 0 0.9, 0 0.5. Other oh, wheat. I think, we, we, I think we are still importing wheat, aren't we? Let's have a look. Yeah, it still says we want to import more wood. So, I mean, we could build that. We could build some more logging camps. I think we have the... Um, the colony down here, but I don't know if we can tell the colony to do stuff. Oh, no, we can. No, we can. Yeah, okay. They're already building um, this logging camp. So I might just build more logging camps down here and just really invest in some stuff. And then hopefully, um, at the moment, it looks like we're importing wood. And we obviously don't want to do that. We want to produce our own at the moment. I would think, anyway, like I say, trying to figure out what, uh, what exactly it's going to do. I think that makes sense. If we make our own, we're then not going to be importing it. So, uh, that's what I think anyway. We'll see if that's true, but, uh, <laughs> some of the stuff it doesn't exactly call out to you, although we, we've kind of passed that bit of just like, hey, this is how you roughly make money. Um, we probably can, um, now, yeah, now it's trying to do, trying to get us to focus on these other things, but as we said in the last episode, I just don't know how to get this to plus two, um, because we can't change our laws. I don't think there's anything else. Actually, we could save some money. I think if we... Can we, like, lower the the, uh, the cost of these? I think... Oh, it's probably in the budget, actually, isn't it? Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we've got the consumption tax on grain. National expense government... Yeah, military wages. We could lower this. Oh, do you know what? It really doesn't lower it by that much. It only lowers it by £200. Um, pounds. It's not really worth it. I guess the size of our army is not a massive amount of stuff. Um, okay, never mind. We won't do that. Uh, what else were we going to look at? Uh, oh, there's the outliner. Ding. I love, this. I love the noise it makes. <laughs> I love the noise it makes. Uh, yes, yeah, so some of these industries are actually giving us bonuses. But the Catholic Church isn't. Oh, yeah, because they're unhappy. Yeah, yeah, that's why. So, yeah, like I say, just try to figure out some way to make them like us more. Um, I don't... Let me have a look here. Government. I don't think there's anything in here we can change. Oh! Laws with... Uh, no, no, no. This is changing the landed vote. Who likes this? Okay, everyone but the church, basically. National Guard. The intelligentsia don't like, but the armed forces do. Secret police. Oh, we can't do that one anyway. Local police force. Oh, actually, wait. Has this unlocked a bunch more? Yeah, no police. Oh, interesting. Who don't who don't like local police force? Rural folk and the and the intelligentsia. They don't like it. Uh, landowners. Okay, not the church. We could do with one of these the church like, but uh, don't think it's gonna uh, it's gonna work out here. So the rural folk don't like this, and most people don't mind it. What does it give us? What kind of buff does it give us? Plus two max law enforcement institution investment. Um, minus five percent chance of radicals. Minus fifteen percent state penalties from turmoil. I don't think we really need to do that, then, do we? Increases the strength of landowners because I guess they run the police. Yeah, the county has local police uh, forces operate. Yeah, so they kind of run their own police rather than uh, us doing it. Yeah, I don't think any of them are worth doing. No home affairs, national guard. We don't like this. Then wait. Oh, the intelligentsia. Again, not the church. We need one of these of the church light. What's oligarchy? Landed voting or autocracy? Trade union. See, not, not, none of these affect the church, which is wild. You think? I guess they're kind of staying out. You know, church and state and all that. I guess they're just staying out of it. And not that interested. Uh, we'll leave this as oligarchy anyway. We are kind of building a. Um, yeah, industrialist kind of uh, um, place at the moment. We've got Colonial Affairs active. Can we do another one of these? No, just wait for it to unlock. Okay, never mind. Reform our government. We're not going to do that.
forty percent bolstered. Yeah, see, I don't think that, I don't think there is anything. I know we've gone through this for the last couple of episodes, but it's it's just like I need to find some way to get them to like me more. I have no idea how to do it, so uh, I guess we'll just wait and uh, see what happens. Um, unproductive trade routes. Wow, this one's really shouting at us. Oh, not anymore. It's changed its mind. It's not that bothered about it anymore. Uh, so yeah, we are losing a little bit of money, but we are building these um, upgrades. So that's probably why. To um, you know, get some more, I uh, guess, some more money later down the line. Um, I wonder if can we? Is there like the uh, the papal states? Can we like make them like us more? Would that make the church like us? Papal states interaction. I guess they're too far away. Disint disinterested. It's like <laughs> it's like who are you? <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No one cares about Chile. Oh, Peru, Bolivia. Oh, they actually merged together in the end. Because, yeah, Peru was a uh, a vassal, basically, of Bolivia. So it looks like they've kind of merged together a little bit here. Kind of interesting to see. See how that works out. Uh, we're genial. So they actually quite like us. We could def... Do you know I wonder whether to make a pact with Argentina or something. Can we not make a pact with them? At least cordial. Okay, do you know let's begin improving relations with Argentina. I think maybe keep them on our side. We can finish doing this down here, and then maybe go after Peru, Bolivia next. Oh, they've actually just changed colour. Okay, nice. No significant changes in, uh, in our market. And then we're going to work on Conquer the Desert, which is carrying on basically colonising this bit down here. Um, I guess we just need to wait it out and they finish colonising this. Um, can we see how big this state is? It can't be all of this down here. But we'll see, I suppose. And yeah, so they're minus two for uh, Argentina. Trying to get them to like us a little bit more. Uh, this is going to be finished in 19 weeks. We've got a lot of influence, but I don't know what else we can really spend this on. We're spending on making Argentina like us more. Um, I suppose we could make somebody else like us more. Brazil were trying to make us like them. So you know, let's, can we do two at a time? We can do two at a time. So we'll do that. Can we get a trade agreement? And they'd say no. They'd say no, thank you. No trade routes. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, there's no direct trade routes, I guess. Okay, wow, we've got a lot more convoys than we need anymore. Okay, um, I guess that's because of some of these uh, things changing. Oh, Argentina and Brazil are our rivals, so... We might see a little bit of a, a little bit of a war or something going on here. Great Britain has started a native uprising against Tagai Toa. Where's this? Uh, can we see where you are on the map? No, oh, no. <laughs> are they down here? Okay, yeah, in uh, in New Zealand. Interesting. I guess they're quite close to us, so I guess that's why we got told about it. Uh, yeah, so we'll finish this. Nothing else in here for us to do. Uh, Catholic. Oh, a cultural. Oh, wait, wasn't this the thing that they wanted us to change? Oh, no, again, we can't change it because uh, people don't like us enough. Yes, yeah, so a 0% chance still. Oh, the intelligentsia need to endorse it. I guess we need all three to endorse it, and there's a chance it'll it'll pass. So we'll see. We'll 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 see. We'll see what they decide. Uh, with that, these have nearly yeah nine weeks to go. I, like I say, I think this should bring us in quite a bit of money. I mean, what we could also do is um, is there any other things we can upgrade? Although I suppose we want these to finish first. Yeah, it's kind of weird you can't make build two things at a time. Although I guess maybe. Are they all in Santiago? Our build queue? I guess so. I guess they must all be in the same place. And then, yeah, we're still expanding down here. Actually, no, no, yeah, some of them were in uh, in here. Ah. Oh, no, we made them happy. I don't know how we made them happy. Oh, because we died. <laughs> That's why. That's why. Who died? Oh, he was head, the, the head of the Catholic Church died. And I guess the new guy liked us. Well, there we go. I guess that's part of the game. You know, you can't always do so. You've got to wait sometimes for different people. Yeah, so uh, Ramon Taro 
is now in charge, and he's a moderate, and he likes us now. Uh, enough that we're now plus two, I guess. Yeah, we are plus two. So he now likes us, so we finish that uh, thing. Now we should, in theory, I think, be able to now enact this, uh, which is under politics, I think. Yeah, laws. No, not police. Ah, uh, pressed the wrong thing again. Where's uh, schools? Here it is. Oh, we still can't do it. Why can we still not do it? Temporary from enactment. I don't... Um, current chances of enactment success are 0%. Will be enacted next. Year. Everyone is equal to the base success chance plus any effects accumulating during the enactment process. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Requires one of the following. Oh, disallowed by disallowed by serfdom in labor rights. Okay. Are we is that why do we do we have serfdom? Where's labor rights? Oh no, serfdom abolished. No, we don't have serfdom. Have a look. Where is it again? I've, mi I've I've lost it again. There it is. Education system. Oh, I guess it's a my 52% uh, are, are are opposed to schools. Opposed? Oh no, no, they do oppose no schools. So yeah, that's the thing. We do want to change it. To religious schools. And part of our laws enables education institution adds bureaucracy. Requires one of the following: disallowed by total separation in church and state. Law is supported by one interest group. So that makes me think we should be able to enact this. This is by total separation in church and state. Let's check that. Where is... Oh, do we need to have total separation? Ah, that's why I think. This allows multiple... Yeah, no, this, this one we can't do. Just like by theocracy and government principles, okay? Everything's kind of like merged in to different ones. Uh, government principles. Oh, so it'd have to be the the theocracy. I don't get it. What about this one then? Private schools. Must have enacted state religion. Must not have enacted state religion law. And the chance of private schools must be enacted with zero. Okay, so we do have state religion. What about public schools? Must not have enacted state religion or serfdom. So do we have state religion? I guess we do. Yes, we do. Yeah, we, we looked at this already, I think. Total separation of church and state? 0% chance of this being successful. This will radicalise the Catholic Church. We don't want that. Freedom of conscience. That will just upset them slightly. Requires disabling... Disallowed by theocracy. In government principles. Okay. We don't have that selected. Do you know, some of these don't make sense to me. I'm not going to lie. Some of these don't make sense. Uh, was it this one? Was it to Yeah, this one we wanted to do. I don't get it. Do you need to have more than 50% uh, backing it to be, to be able to change? Let's see. No, please. I guess these two added together are more than this one. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know about this. I'm not sure how this bit works. Uh, can we stop? I'm going to stop bolstering them anyway, because we we got what kind of what we needed for them. Tell me... Do you know, let's do this again. Tell me how. How to gain institution. You see laws in your act here. Yeah. So press here. Go to laws. Click the education system. Your current law in the education system is no schools. This law disables the education institution, so we have to enact an alternative to get access to it. Any of the other laws this category give us institutions we want, but different laws have different effects, both in the country and the institution. If you have more than one available, inspect the effects before you decide which, but we don't have any of them. To even attempt to enact law, you must have support by at least one government interest group or a current... Oh, that's why. So nobody like actively wants this, I guess. The capacity of each government to enact laws is measured by the chance the law will pass, your so-called enactment success. Should you fail to pass the law the first attempt, another event will transpire and the outcome might increase or decrease your chance. The duration between the attempts is determined by legitimacy. 
And that one's success indicates the percentage chance will be is equal to the base success chance plus any. Bait is equal to the clout of the support. Oh, so we should back whoever wants to do this. Yeah, which was the church. Yeah, 36. I guess, okay, I guess yeah, if, if it's over 50% of clout, it then allows you to enact it, maybe. Choose another, like harm. <laughs> I can't. If you cannot ignore the law, you need to put an interest group that endorse. You need to. Wait. If you cannot enact any law, you need to put an interest group that endorses any of the in government. Oh. Oh, I get it. I get it now. Do we need to reform the government and put, like, the Catholic Church as the largest one instead of armed forces? Or an intelligentsia, I guess. So let's try. Can we reform and... Oh, this is how we do it. There we go. You guys have probably been shouting at me the last two episodes or something, but... Um, we could put the Intelligentsia... Actually, John, let's look at laws. Which one was it we wanted to do? I mean, private schools isn't too bad. But I think religious. I think we're going to go... Yo, let's try it. Let's try it. We, we, you know, we're learning the game, so who knows? Right, let's put the Catholic Church into the government. Oh, you can actually have more than one in the government. Interesting. Those with go. Oh, so then it tells us the difference, like whether which ones we can choose. Yeah, religious schools will appear as a uh, governmental government support. Right, let's do this. We'll have the armed forces. Actually, I kind of want the industrial. Oh, yeah, no, that destroys our legitimacy. <laughs> Okay, we're going to have to put the arm for We are a general, so I guess that's why. Okay, it does lower it, I guess, because we've added the Catholic Church. But this, in theory... Yes! There we go, we've done it. 10% chance. That's not a very high chance. Let's, um... Let's go back to the clout thing. Uh, where are they? Catholic Church. Let's bolster them again. And hopefully... Oh, that can make it worse, I think. I'm supporting interest group 10%. I mean, hopefully this passes. I mean, 10% isn't very high, though. Although, it's it looks like it's past this. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's basically said we've done the next step. Uh, plus 7 now, I guess, because they're in power. Although we now do have the church as part of our ruling uh, party. Yes, yeah, so there's 10% chance of success, 20 advanced the next stage, I guess, 70% chance of debating. And then 0% chance of stalling it for the next thing. Who wants to... Trade unions also endorse this. I guess we could maybe... Can we get back two things at once? I think you can only bolster one at a time. Uh, where's trade unions? Are they not on here? Oh, okay. Never mind. We got so... We got, <laughs> wow. We got a lot of radicals. Oh no, it's out of our population. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, that's fine then. <laughs> but yeah, obviously, obviously you have more than, yeah, yeah ne never mind. I can't read the UI right for, for some reason, but no, that makes sense. Um, anyway, yeah, so we can change this. Are there any others we, oh no, we've got to wait for this to finish. Oh, it's gone up to 20% now. Oh wait, no, it says 10% here. Oh, it's 20% progressed. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, so yeah, anyway, we'll wait for this to finish because hopefully we do an event or something like that. We can progress it and then we can move on to the next stage of the uh, tutorial. And we are finally kind of getting out of debt a little bit. I guess some of these buildings are actually um, making that difference that we were hoping they would. Yeah, the logging camps. I'm, I'm kind of surprised, like I say, you can't build more than one thing at a time. Maybe there's something I'm missing here, but maybe expand. One and one. And like I say, I guess, are they all in... No, some of them are down here, so yeah, I don't understand that. Again, there must be a reason why. I'll try to figure it out, obviously. But um, I don't understand why... Why can we build one thing at a time if you have construction things in multiple places? Uh, well, to me, I would think it would allow you to do that, but I guess not. So, for whatever reason. Uh, what was the thing I was looking for? The... Um, ba -ba -ba, not here. Not... Not in here, it doesn't matter. 
Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll see how this does. We've got a little bit more time before it uh, progresses, I think. Um, 194 days. Yeah, cool. let's get time sped up a little bit. Oh, so the screw frigate has been unlocked. Okay, so that makes obviously better ships. And there we go. We're making a little bit of money for like a second. <laughs> we're making a bit of money. But there we go. We are turning it around. We are um, we are gradually making more money. And this is with you know four thousand almost of construction costs going along. So that should It'll keep going up as we keep doing things. Oh, what's this? Oh, the peace treaty between the uh, uh, Great Britain and annexing some of uh, some more of uh, New Zealand. Yes, they did. And yeah, we'll just keep this guy colonizing, I suppose. I think we might as well just keep this going. I imagine it's costing us some money, I'm guessing. Uh, it doesn't, you know what, it doesn't actually, it, does it cost authority? No. Bureaucracy? No. <laughs> I would have thought it cost us, some, it must cost us something to do this. Well, anyway, we'll leave it be. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just expanding our lands uh, slowly. And then we, once this is finished colonizing, like I said, the only thing I'm not sure about is, does it, like, cut off at some point? I'm not sure. Because I, I can't imagine it's going to make just one huge, um, uh, like, state all the way down here. I imagine it must cap out at some point. Uh, discipline and punishment. The role of discipline in the new religious schools has been has raised by the armed forces as an area of improvement in the plans for the new education system. Okay, working into the school system is paramount. That's going to delay the enactment. But we should focus on the curriculum. Armed forces will dislike us less, but the enactment time will speed up. Well, let's do that, because we really want to get this finished. It's me or them. Okay. Ramon Toro, leader of the ruling Catholic Church, has had enough of compromising with his coalition partners. He's demanded that either his collaborators follow his order, or the Catholic Church will never approve of their changes. What a ridiculous thing to say. <laughs> Very well. Interesting. I'm gonna say this. It's my way or the highway. We're gonna we're gonna back them, I suppose. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see whether that was a mistake or not, but we kinda needed to, because we, we need this to finish, so it's not a very high percentage. Oh, central uh, oh and oh okay. We unlocked a bunch of stuff right then. Um plus one max health. Okay, we've got some more pharmaceuticals and then central banking. So yeah, this is going to help us because we get ten percent more from minting and then the uh, loan interest rate is less. It's going to help us because we do have that debt. So uh, yeah, we're actually making two thousand a day. Do you know what? We're turning things around. It's happening. Uh, let's go with. Kind of feels like we're unlocking these quite quickly though, to be honest. But we'll see. Central archives taxation capacity. Eh, not sure about that. 20% more cash reserves. Then what does this give us? Mutual funds. That unlocks a lot. Publicly traded. Oh, this allows you to publicly trade. Oh, more minting and more interest rates. Okay. Do we want to go down nationalism? Probably not. Uh, egalitarianism. Unlocks multiculturalism. Unlocks the radical party. That's probably a bad idea. Unlock realism. I don't know. I think we should go production. Yeah, let's try to focus on making some more money. Uh, we, oh, actually, we're almost going to unlock chemical bleaching in a second. Which um, I guess doesn't really help us that much. Leads to railways. Railways sound like a good idea for uh, for Chile. Improve fertilizer. No, draw. Let's do this. Let's do improve fertilizer. We've got quite a lot of farming, so I imagine that's a good thing to go down. Chemical bleaching, there we go. Oh, and something else unlocked, but it went past so quick. I'm not even sure what it was. Oh, I think it was just saying uh, distillation is becoming uh, spreading. No pri major price changes, and the United States is starting up uprising against the crew. I guess it's here. Oh, the Iron Confederacy. Where's the crew? Military, zero military. Decentralized power. Are they down here? No. Spain. Great Britain. Indian Territory. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they must be here somewhere. The crew. 
true market. Where, oh, is it up here? Where is the crew market? Can we go to it? Zoom to the crew market. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, that is not where I thought. Oh, yeah, the American market is here. Oh, because of Liberia. Of course. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, Liberia was controlled by uh, the US. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Do you know what? I would never have thought about that if we hadn't looked. That would have been quite a surprise. But uh, anyway, how long till this passes? Can we see? It's almost passed. So yeah, we'll see whether this passes at the next checkpoint. It did not. <laughs> it did not pass. It's gone for another round of uh, trying to get past. And like I said, I don't think there's any way for us to bolster this any further than what it is. So... Oh, there we go. Crooked connections. Frustrated with the lengthy legal process surrounding religious schools, Roman Toro of the Catholic Church has approached us with an offer to expedite the process. Who's like selecting his personal connections? Always oh, like going to be a little bit dodgy. The intelligentsia don't like it, but I don't think they're very big, are they? I think the intelligentsia is quite small. No, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Who cares about the intelligentsia? What do they know? Although I think they are actually... Actually, let's have a look. How big are they? I don't think they're very big. Oh, no, they are now. They're 24%. <laughs> yeah, no, they are quite quite a large section of our government. Well, anyway, uh, we'll see whether it passes this time. Uh, base chance is equal to the total clout of the interest group. I mean, like I said, I don't think we can guide the clout of... Actually, no, I think it's only the... Uh, um, Catholics that want this to pass, isn't it? Let's have a look. No, industrialists as well. I, I don't think we can increase the... I wonder if we increase the clout of the industrialists rather than the Catholics. I wonder if that would increase it more. Because I think they're a larger section of the government... Of our... Um, what are they? 15% industrialists is... Seven, so yeah, I wonder if we bolstered these guys instead whether that would give a higher percentage we'll see we'll see well these are getting uh, veteran consolidate consolidate <laughs> it keeps getting deactivated and activated I guess they're really on the borderline of whether they should hey look at that we're making like 5,000 gold now that's not too bad Losing rank? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We can leave that. On, uh, oh, so we've built everything. Oh, we have built everything. Okay. Oh, wait, no, this is zero out of eight. Oh, no, we were using everything before, I think. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's keep investing in some buildings then, because I think that seems to be working out quite well for us. Let's get a government administration, I suppose. Everyone's employed at the moment. This gives market access and plus one infrastructure. It gives us an administration in the... Uh, not enough qualified people, though. Maybe we should just concentrate down here on some, like, low-level resources or something like that. Some more gold. Everyone likes gold. <laughs> Everyone likes gold. Um, plus one infrastructure. Actually, no, do you want, let's look at the market. Yes, yeah, so we're still importing grain. We are exporting wood now, we're exporting tools. Do we have anything that's potential? Yeah, potential export now, wood. Okay, can we just set up an export for wood now? to um oh this one the peruvian bolivian market market actually makes us more money make us 10.2 let's do that oh we're actually losing bureaucracy now yeah we need to increase this actually yeah so let's build i think if we build um is it more uh this one yeah it gives us more bureaucracy think or the trade center does that help us as well no that just helps people come uh come here by the looks of it and they're currently hiring people as well so yeah i think it, i'm pretty sure it was this one wasn't it 
Yeah, 107 bureaucracy. Yeah, so let's increase. Can we increase this or is this maxed out? No, we can't build this. Okay, we'll do this. We'll get some more bureaucracy level. Uh, we could actually cancel. Do we have anything else going? We don't. Um, yeah, so we'll do this. We'll do this. Oh, what's this? Bureaucracy shortfall. Yeah, we know about that. And we know about this. Uh, this will get fixed, though, once these buildings get built. So I'm not too worried about it. I don't think it's going to cause us that many problems, uh, especially by the time those... I don't think there's anything we can really turn off. We could turn off colonial affairs, but that's actually helping us quite a bit, I think. Uh, oh. What's this? Political movement. Enact closed borders. Oh, so the uh, rural folk want us to close the borders in our... In our uh, uh, government, basically. Interesting. Oh, this is going to do... In 10 days, we're going to get this to finish. So actually, let's... Um, oh, that was actually where I wanted to look. <laughs> this one. Can we... We could lower this down, but it slows how quick the colony will grow. Well, does it matter? And then how do you invest in this? It says you need to invest more. You can increase your level of investment institution above its level of two. The maximum is due to that four than nine. Oh no, if we had more bureaucracy, we could increase this to level three. Um, I wonder whether to lower this then. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, it takes 50 weeks. Okay. <laughs> By the time that's done, we'll have actually built the uh, admin building. So there's no point. Yeah, it doesn't really make that much difference. After all. Um. Oh, I wonder actually then, is there anything else? Oh, no, we can't do another trade route. That's what... Uh, cause this to happen. I wonder if we can cancel one of those incoming ones then. Yeah, see, if we made more grain, we wouldn't have to import as much. Uh, that's what I think anyway. I think that makes sense. Uh, do, we need to, do we need to keep doing this? I don't know. Do we? I guess so. I guess we do need to keep doing that. New export route. I wonder if there's anything else we can export. Although it doesn't say at the top, like, potential exports. So I guess we need to build something up enough to then be able to export it. Which I think, like, gold or maybe some of the other ones. Oh, law proposal causes uproar in Patagonian communities. Who cares? Claiming that the enactment of religious schools will affect the country's Patagonian inhabitants in a disproportionately negative way, Patagonian firebrands have riled up their communities against the current law proposal. And their thoughts concern us how? What's this issue through? Ooh, this gives us a plus 10% chance of it succeeding. I'm going to do it. I'm going to force it through. I don't care about Patagonians. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there for today. I think it's a good place to leave it. Uh, we've made some progress, finally. And I think we will get this finished. We've just got to keep doing this. Again, if you know a better way for us to increase the chance of this succeeding, leave a comment down below. It might not be relevant for this campaign, but it's going to help in future ones and help other people, maybe, who are trying to learn the game as well. So, uh, yeah, if you know how to do that, do leave a comment. I think everything else, I think we're on the right road. Like I said, we mainly worked on, we're working on doing these anyway, learning the game stuff, so we'll see. I imagine the next one might be Warfare, I'm not too sure. Um, and then everything else, I think just kind of feeling it out, kind of what we think makes sense, and I think increasing the mines, increasing the, uh, the farms seems to be a good way to go. It seems to have made us more money, so... Again, it seems like a good idea. Let me know if it is wrong, but we're going to leave it there for today. Hit the like button if you've enjoyed the episode. If you're new here and you're enjoying this series, I cover other grand strategy, uh, Crusader Kings, and uh, other management games and things like that on the channel. So if that's your kind of thing, hit subscribe. But for now, we're going to leave it there, and I'll see you in the next one.